covet that body, you covet the life you've imagined that that body has, mm -hmm. right? And the celebrities that Nakiba was talking about, they may not have used that slimming tea, but like they basically have their body being like a full-time job, right? They have a slam glam squad and a trainer and like, you know, like these, like, like it's their literal job to look that way, to sell you this stuff. But we don't see that. We just see somebody who's effortlessly mm -hmm. perfect, gets respected, gets loved, gets admired. And we all want to be respected and loved and admired. And so sure. Why not? Like, I don't even think it's terrible to say mm -hmm. I'd be willing to shave off some years of my life for a life where I'm loved and valued mm -hmm. and respected and admired and I make more money and I'm like more dateable and whatever. And like, I feel the inverse. So like, if you go on my social media, you can find any given viral video and you can click on it and somebody's going to say that I'm going to die before I'm 40, that I, you know, I'm giving up. They, they will say that I'm giving up years of my life because mm -hmm. I look the way that I do. Mm -hmm. And they don't know me, they don't know my health, they don't know my background. And I, it's not a popular thing to say, but I would rather have a life, like I, I think like quality, not quantity on some levels, because when I didn't love how I looked, when I was probably doing some disordered behavior, when I did, like, I mean, I grew up as a fat kid in the 90s. I was in Weight Watchers by the time I was nine. I did the cabbage soup diet. Like I did them all. You know, I've been bribed by my family. I'll buy you this if you do this. Nobody will buy you a wedding dress if you don't look this way. Like I, I've spent much of my life thinking it was never five pounds for me. It was always 50 or 100. But I spent much of my life chasing that and frankly, I didn't love myself. I had terrible mental health issues. Mm -hmm. I was suicidal. Like it was ugly. And so frankly, you know, if accepting myself does mean I'm shaving off some years, but those years mm -hmm. are better years, I think that's okay. Mm -hmm. And as 